Hello again and welcome to the Ocean Photography Awards 2021. I'm Lizzie Daly, I'm with Will Harrison, editor of Oceanographic magazine. And of course, we're still traveling down the beautiful UK coast. Uh, we're in Corsan Bay today with our friends at Princess Yacht. Now, if you've missed anything, fear not, because you can head to the Ocean Photography Awards IGTV channel. And as you know, our judges have been casting their eye over the past few weeks over thousands of beautiful images. But actually, not today for today's award. We're going to be looking at the Community Choice Award. Will, tell us more about the Community Choice Award and how it works. So the Community Choice Award is one that's open to the public. It's their opportunity to vote for their favourites. Uh, it's an opportunity for us to, to put together five images that really represent the inclusivity of these awards. So there's surf shots, there's wildlife shots, there's drone shots, underwater shots. Throw that back out to the community and, and ask them to vote for their favourites. And why is it important for ocean photography to have an award like this one? This award for us is representative of of ourselves at Oceanographic and the, the awards generally. Uh, you know, community is so important to us and what we do and what we're about. And then also the ocean community at large. You know, this is, these awards are something for surfers, divers, sailors, everyone to throw their, their photography into one pot and celebrate one another's work. Brilliant. Well, looking forward to this category and let's reveal those five finalists. Uh, starting with Fabrice Gurin. Now this is, a, I have to say, one of my favourite images in this category. It's a very powerful shot, very dynamic. Talk us through what's happening here. Uh, so this is a sea line uh, shot off uh, Baja, California. Uh, it's powering towards a bait ball of mackerel. As you can see in the image, the, the bait ball is split in half. Uh, it's a beautiful shot, those light rays coming up from the deep, that sense of movement and power and, and you know, predation that's going on in the, in the, uh, in the image. Uh, Jacques Cousteau described this part of the world as, as, uh, as the aquarium of the world and I think Fabrice's image really brings that to light. Yeah, absolutely love that. Thank you Fabrice. Uh, the next image is taken by Maxwell Hon in Monterey, California. A very typical image of this environment that is quite colourful and vibrant. Yeah, these beautiful huge kelp forests that you find off of the Californian coast. Uh, you know, you have the, the lovely brown textures of the jellyfish in the, in the foreground and then that beautiful backdrop of the, the deep greens, you know, rising up to those, those, uh, those gorgeous golden hues yeah. as those kelp uh, meet the surface. Brilliant, brilliant image. Um, our next image is, oh, again, Ben Tuart, he's back, but again with something completely different, even though it's a set surface, same kind of environment, but completely different capture. Yeah, so the wonderful thing about Ben's images is that they're all taken on the same wave in, in French Polynesia, um, but unlike the other two uh, that we saw in the adventure category, again, this one's really different. Uh, this time, it's bringing to life the sense of power experienced in a wipeout. Ben actually calls this image the fight, mm. and, uh, and you, really, you really get a feeling of that as this, this surfer battles for his board back from that tumbling wave. Absolutely brilliant from uh, Ben Tuar there again, so well done, Ben. Um, our next image has been taken by Phil de Glanville, and again, this is one of my top favourites, that fantastic rainbow, and the framing of this picture is just unbelievable. And lovely texture as well, the smooth water at the front of the photo, yeah. you know, those, these, that sort of cloud-like formation of, of the crashing wave behind the surfer mm. as he heads towards the camera, uh, and beautiful, uh, that beautiful blue hue in the water as well. Fantastic. And last but not least, we have an image taken by Michael Haluana. Now, this again is a fantastic capture. Talk us through your thoughts when you look at this image. Well, it's, it's dolphin surfing this time, you <laughs> yeah. know, rather, rather than people, uh, which is lovely to see. And, uh, and again, that, that, that perspective of looking directly down on the wave as, as this pod, uh, whether they're having fun or, or you know, hunting, hunting fish, whatever it might be. Um, it's a stunning shot and the, the colour that is behind yeah. that pod is just gorgeous. Yeah, again, just really hard category, but actually uh, a fantastic one and each one have, uh, really stand out in their own way. So thank you all for uh, voting, watching at home and thank you for your submissions as well. Um, there's been huge, huge response, isn't there, for this award as there was um, last year. So you must be pretty excited about that. Yeah, absolutely. It's lovely. You know, this is all about community, as, as I said before. And so to have people voting in their thousands for their favourite images is, is really special. 
Last year, uh, they did so, you know, and we had that wonderful winner in Tobias Baumgartner. Yes, I remember um, that. And they've done so again in their thousands this year, and they've picked a gorgeous shot as their winning choice. Brilliant stuff. Well, I'm very pleased to announce that the winner of the Community Choice Award is Phil de Glanville. I bought a drone about four years ago just to take my creativity to a different level. I just love the different perspective drones give you, different angles, different compositions you can get. Shooting the ocean is just amazing. There's just so much going on out there. It's raw beauty um, and power. That morning, got up at about five. It was foggy out there and didn't really know if the conditions were gonna be right that day. But when I arrived, um, it cleared up almost blue skies. The winds were fairly light. Those conditions only happen a handful of times each year. So yeah, headed out and got lucky. Having the surf helps show the scale of the wave because these things are so huge. It's often hard to tell. It's stuff you don't see every day. That's pretty cool. To be recognized as the winner of the Community Choice Award is truly an amazing honor. Having been recognized by the, by the people and having their support behind me is so encouraging as a photographer. Yeah, I'm truly thankful for it. A huge congratulations to the winner and a massive thank you all for voting. It's a really special award, a really great opportunity to have you as the judges. Um, as always, tonight's finalists and honourable mentions will be on the website, so head to www.oceanphotographyawards.com to go and check those images out. And tomorrow is our final night. It's the closing of the Ocean Photography Awards 2021. Well, two big awards tomorrow and a massive night. What can we expect? Huge day tomorrow, obviously the climax of the whole week. Uh, we've got a brand new award, the Female 50 Fathoms, which we've uh, collaborated with our main partners on this year, Blancpain. And then of course the big one, the, uh, the yes. overall winner, the Ocean Photographer of the Year. Yes, so make sure you join us tomorrow night, 6 p.m. UK time, where we'll be revealing the winners of those awards. We'll see you then.